pretty girl. Ready? <laughs> I am you. <laughs> Good morning from Al Yosha. We've just moved home from that place. I had a couple of pools in an on-site gym, but your living space wasn't that nice. It wasn't well lit. It wasn't comfortable. It didn't feel like home. So, on Friday the 18th, we moved to here. I'm on the top of the main entrance building. Beautiful view. I mean, look at this sunrise. Look at that. Stunning your cows in the back garden, grazing. We have just here where we actually live. We live in this whole place. Um, otherwise, yes. How beautiful is this to wake up to? Absolutely amazing. You've got some of the flooded fields, got some chickens eating, the trees, the pure greenage. Over there is not what's Phnom Krom. It was one of the temples that we went to and right near there is Wussi Luck, uh, one of the most rural villages we've been to so far. How amazing though. I was out this morning very very early when it was dark um out capturing some sunrises and stuff like that uh, for an upcoming video around happiness and what i want to really create on this platform and on the way up i thought i haven't actually been up the main entrance building but now look at that look at that we was very fortunate that when we got settled in the other place because when you look around the place it looks amazing right especially for me a brit who and I've never really traveled and lived in like a, a traveler scene sort of thing. But when I went there, when we went there, uh, cool apartments, two pools, gym, it looked great. For us, just by keep looking, you don't have to take it, but it doesn't hurt to look. So where we are now, this being the main building, us having our own very spacious, well lit place that I'll be doing some talks here for out your shell. A lot better, a lot cheaper more homely you can make it your own and luckily electricity here from the last place didn't cost that much so let's give Isa a call and see if she'll wave up to us i'm going to wake her up nice and early okay Isa. <laughs> she's thinking you woke me up you got me dressed for this yes yep <laughs> You okay, big guy? You okay? No, oh, he's getting big. What are you? What kind of toad girl are you discussing? Th you are, you're massive. He's so big and, oh, there we go. <laughs> so that you've now seen the new place that we're living at, we're very happy, very comfortable. We're looking for our first pet. I'm after a puppy, he's is after a kitten. So, we've been to a couple of the pagodas. Now we're at Wat Tave Tom, uh, which is right near the macro, if you know where it is. So, let's have a look around, hopefully find a nice puppy. <laughs> right now, the only wildlife we've seen is the birds, some chickens, but where's that puppy? In the way of colouring, everything has its colour. Like uh, what's chalk, it's full of colour. But this one is like worn away enough. It feels like it's aged a bit. The biggest drum as well. Again, I need to find out how to do the drum. 
So let me have a quick look inside and then we'll continue hunting for our first pet. He's just found a load of cats and cuties. Do you guys know where the puppies are? You know where the puppies are? No? Okay. After having a nice walk around what's of a Tom, some of the monks said hello, which was nice. In the far building, they have all these miniature flags at the top, it's nice. It's incredibly silent, and it's just off of road six. Shamefully, after seeing some cats and a couple of big dogs, no puppies. Now me and Isa, we've done a little tour of the pet shops in CM Reap, the ones that you'll find on Google search. Each one of them, and this isn't out of judgment, but each one of them is small furry dogs in a cage just ready to be bought. Uh, what I would say the worst one has been uh, a cage of about five small dogs, cute things, uh, but for some kittens. We saw a little cage in the back corner of a dirty pet shop, I won't name what one, with about six to seven kittens for $35 a piece. Now when I look online, we don't want to be fueling the pet farm industry. I've seen reviews online and these have sent me links to these pet companies that deliver them to pin on pen with a horrible story of someone who ordered a certain breed of dog for three to $400. They get a different dog delivered to them in Phnom Penh. It was a totally different breed and it died two days later due to health conditions. I think if you're gonna spend three, $400, you're a bit stupid to order something that you haven't really spent time with. An animal isn't just something like a cabinet you put together from Ikea. You should go see it, make sure so for me and Isa, we're trying to look for the ones that are in the pagodas, in these beautiful watts that hopefully have been taken care of. Go take it to a vet and then have it as our first pet here. But shamefully here, there's not one. So that's going to be the end of the video. We've now moved home. We are really enjoying the new home. It's cheaper. It's still being developed. You can see lots of people work on it. It has these amazing, massive alligator gars. We're happy with the place. Chickens, a rooster to wake us up at 6 a.m. every morning. Kind of need it now. And on the hunt to look for a nice puppy, a big breed puppy. So if you live in CM Reap and you have good connections to puppies that are being sold that aren't a part of the farming inhumane system, let us know, comment below. Otherwise, Arkun, Arkun. See you next time, come out your shell, find simplistic happiness. Uh, take care, bye, bye. Okay.